If you have a Dell Inspiron 5558 and you're missing these drivers in the device manager after installing Windows 11 or maybe even Windows 10, you're going to go to Dell's website. Just go to dell.com. Once you go there, you'll want to go to support here and then go to support home. From support home, you'll want to enter your service tag number. You'll find it on the bottom of your laptop. Type that in and then just press enter. From here, you'll go to drivers and downloads. It'll pop up another window. You'll want to go to find drivers. Click that. And in here, now you'll see all the list of drivers. You'll want to select your operating system. There's no Windows 11 here, so we'll select Windows 10 because that's the closest. And then you'll want to check the drivers that you need. So we did the BIOS update, your wireless driver, okay. the audio driver as well, Intel Management Engine Interface, Airplane Mode Switch Driver, Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver, Intel Serial I.O. Driver, the Card Reader Driver, and the Chipset Driver. I'll let you know which ones actually make the thing disappear. But once you select all of those, we'll click download selected. Okay. And then you'll just want to save them. I'm going to save them to desktop and you'll want to allow multiple files. So allow. And then once you go from there, you'll just save all the drivers. Now that we have all the drivers downloaded, we'll go ahead and run them one by one. So just click them. It'll take a while to pop up. That's normal. And then you'll just run them um, once they pop up. All right. So just say yes. And I'll show you one of them and then just install and then just go through and next, 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 except you, you know, the process, right? The usual installation kind of stuff. All right. So the Wi-Fi driver finished and you can see none of these went away. Uh, but the good thing is this is still connecting to my wireless before Microsoft did an update and then it couldn't even see my Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and do the others. The chipset one got rid of the SM bus driver. The card reader driver got rid of the USB 2.0 thing, but there's a trick to it. It doesn't run normally from here. So if you try and run this and you try and install it, um, you're going to see that it fails. So you can see it fails. So what I had to do is I have 7-Zip. It's another software. You got to right click the driver. Then you got to go show, show more options. Go to 7-Zip. And then we're going to have to extract the files uh, to a folder. You can manually extract each one separately, but I'll extract it to this. And it will make a folder here. You have this chipset driver here. And now you can run this setup 64 and it will install properly. An airplane mode switch took care of one of the unknown devices. All right. And the final unknown device turned out to be the Bluetooth. So I had to actually download the Intel Bluetooth driver as well. If you're wondering how I found out, what you do is on those triangle things, right click, go to properties. From there, you go to details. In details, you go to hardware IDs. And then in there, you can copy this first line, paste it into a Google search, and you can usually figure out what it is from what people say.